Hello, it's -a me, Mario. Uh, it's just me again. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of resting on a tree over water. And we're going to talk about the busy bees and ADHD. So let's get into it. Hi, my name's Samara. This is me. And I look like this. <laughs> You're about to hear something really funny. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. And this is my life. So gotta follow the creepy things. <laughs> so, welcome to it. It's blizzarding. So, we, uh, we just got back from grocery shopping because we have a uh, dinner party to go to tonight and we're making the mashed potatoes and the carrots. So we're talking about ADHD. And one of the things that I recently learned is that I might have ADHD. And that might explain a couple of the things that uh, doing multiple things at once. Speaking of which, I'm cooking two different things. I'm also thinking of possibly doing a pie because I bought it. And then I'm also critiquing, if you can hear in the background, a new song that I'm just working on. So I'm doing like four things at once. Uh, five, because I'm also recording this uh, vlog for this week. So ha, let's uh, let's talk about some pros and cons to this uh, recently developed ADHD thing. So before we get started, what is ADHD? A quick Google search gives all the answers. Attention deficit hyperactive disorder is a condition that affects your behavior. Restlessness, trouble concentrating, and acting on impulse are a few examples of what people have to deal with with ADHD. Millennium Medical Associates Adult ADD and ADHD Treatment provide us with some pros and cons. So let's uh, start with the cons. Thoughts that don't stop. Racing thoughts or missing thoughts, skipping from one to the next. It's very hard to focus with the thoughts that are just all jumbled and scattered. With that being said, number two, conversations can be hard. Because of the lack of focus in thought, having a conversation can lead to frustration with neurotypical people. The third is the inability to have a certain talent. Because it's hard to focus on one thing for an extended amount of time, mastering a certain skill can be tricky. Four, bad listener, bad friend. Because we have some issues with the whole focusing things, and even though people that have ADHD are really good at helping people, sometimes it's not always good at the listening thing. However, texting or reading is a lot better responded than the audio. TMI. Inability to filter can lead to long-winded explanations, oversharing, or irrelevant stories. Six, boredom comes easily. I can attest to that. Seven, problems with education or career. Interests can be retained for only so long, and so it's really hard to, again, stay focused. Okay, enough with the bad stuff. Well, it's not even really that bad. You can figure out ways to cope with cons and all of that stuff but still if we're doing goods and bads let's have the goods now one multi-talented channeling energy into multiple avenues lots of hobbies that they're usually pretty good at two an abundance of thoughts and ideas can find multiple new solutions to problems three creativity fresh and exciting content in extreme four hyper -focus become so intent on completing tasks, the world just passes them by. And five, career, great entrepreneurs and success in creative endeavors, such as music, drama, scientific discoveries, etc. So is there a difference between men and women with ADHD? Frida gives us the uh, diagnosis on that one. So same diagnosing, but they live different experiences. The research shows these symptoms are unique to women. Low self-esteem, difficulty with peer relations, coexisting anxiety and depression, and masking, which is basically a coping strategy that hides the underlying achievement and performance issues. Women are more likely to internalize their symptoms than men. 
So like with any disease, there's always myths or misunderstandings. And Chad, C-H-A-D-D, is going to give us the download on some of those. So one, ADHD is not a real disorder. Now, ADHD dates back to the 1775 by Adam Wickard in Germany. Over 10,000 clinical and scientific publications have been made on ADHD. Two, ADHD is a disorder of childhood. Long-term studies of children diagnosed with ADHD show that it is a lifespan disorder. ADHD persists in childhood to adolescence, 50% to 80%, and into adulthood, 35% to 65%. 3. ADHD is overdiagnosed. It has increased 5% every year according to a National Survey of Children's Health in 2003 and in 2011. Now, there's been a lot of research since then, but mental health has also had more awareness towards it. So, of course, there's going to be more things that kind of come up in, in all regards, not just in this. 4. Children with ADHD are over-medicated. Most evidence from researchers suggests it's the proper amount or undertreated. And this is from Connor in 2015. And lastly, number five, poor parenting causes ADHD. Actually, genetic, hereditary, neurological factors such as pregnancy, birth complications, brain damage, toxins, infections, or trauma, whether that be that kind of trauma or childhood trauma, are the main causes of ADHD, not social factors. Oh, oh things are happening. Whoa! I hope that information was interesting and uh, give you a little more knowledge behind ADHD. And I am basically 99.9% .9 sure that that explains a lot with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, I, I really, I really need to get to bed, but uh, I, 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 it was kind of good that I had to put this together because I had a spider like literally crawl into my bed and I blew it out of my bed. I think I'm over it now, so I think I can get to bed. Anyways, I uh, I just decided I'd throw all of, like, the pictures and videos, I guess it's no pictures, just videos, of everything that I've been kind of up to lately. There's some things that I'm, like, saving for certain things, so it's just sporadic little videos. Anyways, with that all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, week, month, day, week, month, whenever I see you or you see me again. And until then, be happy, guys. Bye. Looky, looky, little kitty. Pardon? Just, one? just the one. I hear the other one. If it comes, I will get it too. Look at how little it is. It's just so cute. Like, show everybody your pretty face. Show everybody your cute little face. You better watch your back, Bob. You have competition. You have, you have competition behind you. You do. Do you know? Do you, do you know? The cat brought in some snails, so now I've got to go take them out. Look at how cool these guys look. Are they snails or slugs? Are they slugs if they don't have shells and snails if they have shells? I must do some research. This guy's very adventurous. Look at you, little go. They're not slow at all. <laughs>